Hello and good morning from BBC One. It's Monday, now at 6am. We start with breakfast. Hello, very good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Dan Walker and Louise Minchin. Our headlines for you at six o'clock this morning. Pomp and politics for the Queen's speech at Westminster, but events in Brussels could overshadow the Prime Minister's parliamentary plans. Harry Dunn's parents head to the US but say they won't meet the American woman involved in the crash that killed their son unless she agrees to return to the UK. Good morning. A ticket to ride, but it's not made of paper. Train companies prepare to call time on physical tickets, with half of all rail passengers now choosing mobile options instead. It's been a weekend of records. Just a day after Elliot Kipchoge breaks the two-hour marathon barrier, Bridget Koskai shatters Paula Radcliffe's 16-year-old world record. Quick stepping up the leaderboard, we'll catch up with Mike after his highest Strictly score so far. Good morning from the Wellington Barracks where the King's Troop are getting ready for the procession later on for the State of Parliament. It's a hive of industry here, the weather's not looking so great for them. We've got rain or showers on the forecast today except for across parts of North East Scotland and Eastern England where we'll see some dry conditions. But I'll have more details in 15 minutes. Good morning. It's Monday the 14th of October. Our top story is that the first Queen's speech of Boris Johnson's premiership will be unveiled today. With promises to introduce tougher sentences for foreign offenders, tackle violent crime and invest more in the NHS. But events in Brussels could still overshadow the Prime, overshadow the Prime Minister's parliamentary plans. As he said, there was still significant work still to do in Brexit negotiations. Uh, lots else to talk about on the programme right now, though. Let's get the news, the travel and the weather wherever you happen to be watching. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back. You are watching Breakfast with Dan and Louise. It's uh, just gone 6.30. All the latest news and sport. Weather coming your way very shortly. Also on Breakfast this morning, we'll be looking back at an unrivaled weekend of historic marathon achievements. We're celebrating 50 years to the day since the world's first seven-sided coin, the 50 pence piece, went into production. And his quick step brought outstanding scores from the judges on Saturday. Tears of joy from his dance partner, Catcher, as well. Uh, can he beat it this week? We'll be asking Magic Mike all about that in just a few minutes' time. There were a lot of tears, but hopefully none this morning. Mm. Um, let's get you up to date with the latest news. Very good morning to you. Uh, that is it from us. Uh, we'll be back at the same time tomorrow from 6 o'clock in the morning. Now on BBC One, it is time for Rip Off Britain Live.